Hey guys, look who's back. Yeah. What was my last video? September? I think it was September. Um, okay, well, there are a couple of things I need to talk to you about, but first, I'm going to take you through my garden. I know it's been a long time, but I'm going to breeze through here real quick. I actually did some work out here. Um, it has been neglected for a few months. I've been busy. Uh, again, I'll explain that. But, uh, you know, I'm not completely gone from the YouTubes by any means. I just, um, as I said before, back in September, uh, interest waned. And there were a couple other things going on. And so some of the stuff has exploded. Um, I'm just, I'm in my glory right now with that. But I'll, I'll just take you through here real quick. So what I did here was this philodendron was kind of getting out of hand and was looking a little peckish. So I, I cut a lot of its uh, little vines off, but I think it's already uh, much happier now. <laughs> so it, it, it's amazing uh, to me that, you know, I've been gardening for, for years now again. And uh, I could just sit there and work on a plant for a little bit, and I could just see it kind of go like, ah. <laughs> so, and the the two the two guys on the side here, on either side, uh, they're going to be house plants eventually. Now, the problem that I have with the apartment is, well, one, we're right in the center, so we don't have a whole lot of windows. Uh, the other thing is we work mostly nights, so it's usually pretty dark in there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I do a lot of computer work too, so the shades are, are drawn in my room a lot. And, uh, you know, there's just not enough light in there for the plants, so what I have to do is rotate them. And that's my plan with at least those two, probably the one in the center too. Uh, I just planted them all just a little while ago. If you notice over here, this is all completely, there's nothing left in here uh, because I moved them over to here. Uh, three more aloes. You know, I, I, I've still been having to throw a lot of them away. There's really nothing I can do about them. So I have more spiders there. I have so many spider plants around here now. I've been cutting off so many shoots and stuff. So here's two more right here. Sorry about the wind. And uh, they, they're also rotated. They, they don't do so well in the kitchen because, as I said, there's like no windows. There's one window right there. You know, the kitchen is right past that door. It's the only window there is. So, you know, really, even, uh, even with the shades pulled up and stuff, it, there really isn't a whole lot of light in there. It's really difficult to grow plants indoors. So I just rotate them. So they come out here. They've been out here close to a week. They get all happy. I bring them inside. They kind of wilt a little bit for a week, and then I bring them back out. So i got to do something with this guy here. Uh, probably put him out front along with one of the other ones I transplanted. I did lose both of them this winter, uh, ones I had out front. <laughs> so my blank of flower is still alive and kicking. I do have to trim it back. I, again, I been neglecting a lot of stuff out here and this spider plant which is actually two of them um, it's actually I don't know if you can see this it's actually pushing soil up um, there's no room there there hasn't been any room for a while but it's just getting really bad again I don't know what to do with it um, these little shoots here I, I just get a ton of them every week so it's saying I need to multiply I, I there's nothing left in me here I'm probably gonna end up culling it um, and what I did with Papa here and I have a feeling that he's not gonna get any taller he's about three four close to four feet tall um, you can see there's a stalk left here. Well, I'll just show you. Here's one, two, 
three. Here's the fourth one. It had four of these this winter, four of them. And uh, it was a trooper, um, made it through the winter. Uh, we had a very, very, very warm winter, uh, despite having three hard freezes. And we had three early to mid season, and then it just warmed up and it just, it was relentless. <laughs> So it's good for these guys, just wasn't good for my air conditioning. So I'm gonna take you out around to show you by Frank and Daisy. I mean, good Lord. It's all coming from this little pot. Now, my guess is there's probably pretty big root system underneath there uh, did what my tomatoes did a few years back they'll just the roots will just keep spreading out from underneath the hole and it just this is all lava rock so it's full of nutrients they just love it including the weeds so I have a few spider plants left here. God, I don't know why it's so breezy out here now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I planted some day lilies. I got these last spring and uh, they, they finally bloomed again a few weeks ago. And it looks like I have some more little guys in here just really taking off. Again, it's just such a small, um, such a small pot. So again, there's probably a root system underneath. So I, ha I do have a plan out here. Um, I planted some stuff late in the winter in uh, little egg cartons and nothing came up except for that one guy. Now I think that's a cucumber. It sure looks like a cucumber to me. I remember planting a cucumber, but I also remember planting some squash. So, anyway, it's in this. It's in either the squash or melon family, but I, I really do think it's a cucumber. Um, that's a, a pole bean that's really not doing so well. Uh, the seeds are rather old, two or three years old, and uh, they came from some plants that I had planted a few years ago. So they're just. They're just not very happy. I'm going to replace them with some new beans. I'm going to try some bush beans. And this tomato plant I started, I think it was back in February. It's either January or February. So uh, it's, it's doing okay. It's not big, but it's doing okay. And I have one Mexican sunflower left over here. Uh, it's finally starting to perk up. And... My little mini rose bush has really taken off. This was the one that a year ago I, I kind of left in the laundry room for about a month. I thought it died. Brought it out in March. Started watering it and it came back. I just replanted it. Gave it some new shoes. <clears throat> and uh, it's really starting to take off. I'm going to leave him out here. And I have my strawberries still. Um... With the change in weather, it just got really hot really uh, early. It's kind of stabilized now. You know, probably looking at uh, 86 degrees. It's been really dry. Not quite as dry as last year, but still been pretty dry. So yeah, we really need some rain again. And oh, here's a funny story here. I bought a birdhouse at Michael's and I painted it because over here I would have a bird uh, sleeping in there uh, about every night you know actually a week ago I come out here after I got home from work and there were two of them in there you know poor things I come come out here check my plants uh, water anything needs to be watered and I scare these guys away, and the guy flew right into the fence there. I felt kind of bad. 
but you know I put this birdhouse up in the winter so that the birds would use it it's not being used well, what the hell guys come on put up this nice birdhouse for you it's got got some real wild colors on there and everything and they're just not using it but oh well what can you do so it's just gonna sit there I have not touched it all winter it just keeps on blooming and it's just kind of do its, doing its thing so that's about it um, I'm gonna sit down and have a little talk with you uh, it just it doesn't sound good does it uh, but no, I'm just going to set up the tripod and sit down and I'm going to talk about some of the exciting things that have been uh, going on in the past three, three to four months or so. Uh, very, very exciting stuff. Uh, nothing to do with YouTube, nothing to do with the gardening, uh, but very exciting. So uh, give me a second and I'll set you guys up.